trains mate. I always thought you were different. How so? You know exactly what I mean. Germany, Britain, the whole bloody lot of them. I believe that I have made myself quite clear. Not to me, you haven't. I have no choice, Emily. Honor demands it. That's your father talking. You men and your honor. It is better to be fighting free over there than locked in an English prison. Not if you don't come back. Listen, this war may be over in a matter of months. We'll be together again in time for Christmas. I will return. Promise me, Otto. Twenty sixth April, nineteen sixteen. My dearest Otto, I hope this letter finds you in good health, and I pray you forgive me for taking so long to reply. The reason is simple. My own government suspects me of spying for Germany. You move that way. You too move with me. I'm afraid, Otto, and it grieves me so. But I ask that you not write me for the meantime. Just know that you have my undying love, and I hope it will be enough to guide you through the darkest of hours. Your sweetheart, Emily.
Don't shoot. War's over. What? The war. It's over. Please. You take me for a fool. The gun's still fire. Oh, I swear it's over. Brother, it will be 11 o'clock this morning. There's more of us out here. You kill me and you're gonna. You can count on that. We do not kill prisoners. That's not what I heard. Then you've heard incorrectly. Stand up. You just bloody shot me and now you expect me to walk? Move. So how'd you get that shiny metal? Kill the right few Tommies, I'd reckon. For doing my duty. I know who you are, you know? Is that so? Of course. Oh, you all know you. Famous Otto von Siegmund. Lieutenant Otto von Siegmund. Sure. Sure. Yours was the zebra, right? That black and white plane? Correct. We used to watch you lot flying around up there. I wanted to have it at placing bets so you'd come crashing down first. A couple of the boys made a good few bob the other day when your luck finally ran out. Be honest, thought you'd be older. I do not believe that you are in a position to come with you. How old are you, boy? 15? 16? 18. That's Private Benjamin Harrison to you. King's poor bloody infantry, thank you very much. So come on, how many did you kill? 58 victories. Victories? Enemy aircraft shot down. So you have no idea how many you actually killed. You've dear enough to confirm this kill at least. Perhaps then you should not inform your enemy that the war's over by aiming your rifle at them. Oh, so you believe me then? Bugger off, Jerry, if you manage. What? Hey! Me? Why couldn't you let me go with them? I will not allow myself to be taken prisoner! That matter, the bloody war's over. So you say. Either way, I do not give a damn. I will not surrender myself! So your precious honor is more important than my life? It is all that I have left! I have nothing left. Who's the lesser from? <laughs> Come on, don't be like that. We'll be seeing him soon. 
a little Fraulein, eh? She's English, actually. Fair play, Jerry. Fair play. I still do not understand. If the war was ending, then why did the artillery keep on firing? I overheard the orders to save them pulling away the spare shells. No honour in that. Honour? Where have you been the past four years? Maybe you flyboys had some special rules, but down here was a different story. Trust me. <coughs> What's her name? Emily. Guess that's why you'll be heading back, now this bloody war's done and dusted. If they will allow me back. Maybe this time we will be back home for Christmas. Maybe this time. Comrades are here. We made it. You will be fine. Just a few more steps and they will look after you. Benjamin! Come, Benjamin! Stop! Don't move! He needs a doctor. Quickly! Medic, get a stretcher! Get off him, Jerry! Stay down! I will return. From 
promised me off to.